In this video, we will talk about the cardiac cycle. The cardiac cycle is the process of the heart's rhythmic contraction and relaxation that pumps blood through the circulatory system. Here is a diagram of the heart, and let's quickly label the parts of the heart. These two top chambers are the right and left atrium, and these two bottom chambers are the right and left ventricles. The right and left sides of the heart contract at the same time, therefore both sides of the heart go through a cardiac cycle at the same time. These valves that separate the atria from the ventricles are the atrioventricular valves. The one on the right is the tricuspid valve, and the one on the left is the mitral valve. These valves at the entrance of the arteries are the semilunar valves. This one is the pulmonary valve, and this one is the aortic valve. The valves in the heart prevent the backflow of blood and ensure that blood flow remains unidirectional. Take a moment to think about the heartbeat. A heartbeat sounds like this. If we were to draw out the sounds on a time graph, it would look something like this. Lub dub, lub dub, lub dub. One thing we notice is that the cardiac cycle has two phases. This short phase called systole and this longer phase called diastole. Systole is the part of the cardiac cycle when the heart is contracting. The powerful ventricles of the heart contract to expel blood from the ventricles and into the arteries that lead to pulmonary or systemic circulation. Diastole is the part of the cardiac cycle when the heart is relaxed. Blood flows from the atria to fill up the ventricles. Most of the blood, about 80% of it, will flow passively from the atria to the ventricles due to the atrioventricular valves being open. However, near the end of diastole, the atria will actually contract to help propel the remaining 20% of blood into the ventricles. To help you remember the difference between systole and diastole, you can remember the ventricles dilate during diastole. When you get your blood pressure taken, you're given two numbers, like 120 over 80. The top number is a measure of your systolic blood pressure, which is your peak blood pressure in your arteries when your ventricles contract. The bottom number is a measure of your diastolic blood pressure, which is the lowest pressure in your arteries when your ventricles are relaxed. We will go into more details on blood pressure in future videos. The sounds of your heartbeat are produced by the valves in your heart closing. But how exactly do the valves open and close? Well, they open and close in response to pressure changes. Blood, like any other fluid, will move from areas of high pressure to low pressure. During systole, when the ventricles contract to expel blood, pressure is higher in the ventricles than it is in the atria. Blood will want to move backwards into the atria where there is less pressure. But notice that the flaps of the valves are shaped like crescents. Some blood will get caught behind the flaps of the atrioventricular valves and force the valves to shut. And when the atrioventricular valves shut, so the tricuspid and the mitral valves, they create this lub sound, also called S1. The high pressure in the ventricles will instead push the semilunar valves open, so the pulmonary and aortic valves, and direct the blood into the arteries. During diastole, when the ventricles relax and expand and when the atria contract, Pressure is higher in the atria than in the ventricles, so the atrioventricular valves open to allow blood to flow into the ventricles. However, pressure is also higher in the arteries than in the ventricles, so blood in the arteries wants to move back into the ventricles where pressure is lower. But again, the blood directly behind the valves will pull on the flaps and shut the semilunar valves. This creates the second dub sound, also called S2. Something to note is that the semilunar valves sometimes don't close at the same time. 
Normally, the aortic valve will actually close a tiny bit earlier than the pulmonary valve and cause what's called the splitting of the S2 sound. Now, time for some questions to test your understanding. Which of the following is true during diastole? Pause here if you need more time to think. To answer this question, let's review what happens during diastole. So, diastole is when the heart relaxes to allow blood to flow from the atria to the ventricles. This means that these valves, the atrioventricular valves, would be open to let the blood flow through. And these valves, the semilunar valves, would be closed to prevent blood from going back into the heart. Option A states that the tricuspid valve and the pulmonary valve are open. The tricuspid valve will indeed be open to allow blood from the right atrium to go to the right ventricle. But the pulmonary valve will not be open because it wants to prevent blood from flowing from the pulmonary artery back into the right ventricle. So option A is false. Option B states that both semilunar valves are open. The semilunar valves are located at the entrance of the arteries, and these valves will be closed to ensure that the blood doesn't flow back into the ventricles. So B is also false. Option C says that blood will not flow through the tricuspid valve. Well, we already know that blood definitely will flow through the tricuspid valve, so C is also false. Option D says that the blood flows through the mitral valves. The mitral valve will be open to allow blood to flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle. So option D is the correct answer. Did you get the question right? Comment what you thought down below. If you want to learn more about this subject, check out this video. And if you want to learn the same thing but in French, check out this video. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye!